Aquarius. Hi, how are you? I'm here to give you your reading. It's going to be for April 2021. Yes, hey, hey, hey. If you're new here, hello, my name is Lori Gemini Tarot, and I'm a tarot reader. Uh, now, how this works is that I will be using multiple decks, so if the first reading doesn't resonate with you, usually the second, third, fourth one will. I will be using uh, uh, multiple decks. It's going to be all 90s themed. All the decks are going to be 90s inspired, so make sure you stick around for the entire video. I do want to know what is your favorite 90s cartoon. Uh, a really good one is Animaniacs. I used to watch that all the time, and I'm so happy that they rebooted it, so I want to know in the comment section below what is your favorite 90s show or cartoon, whatever your jam is. Now, please uh, note that these are general collective tarot readings. Make sure you check your sun, moon, and rising. Uh, please note that I do have a window open. I do have pets, and I do have my boyfriend hair, so if you hear some background noise, so please forgive me. Uh, now, uh, do not force the reading. Um, if it does not resonate, it was meant for another Aquarius. Uh, so just take what applies and leave out the rest. Uh, make sure you follow, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, comment down below if the reading resonates. If you uh, And make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when I'm, drop, uh, when I'm dropping content and when I'm going live. And if you'd like to book a personal tarot reading, in the description box below is a link to my Instagram channel. You can check out my pricing and DM me directly to book a tarot reading. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into this Aquarius. So I do have the Nine of Swords here, Gemini energy for you. I do have the Five of Swords, Libra energy. The Six of Swords, your energy, okay. I do have the Strength card, Leo energy. I do have the Ten of Cups. I do have the Judgment card, that is going to be Scorpio energy. And then the uh, Ten of Cups is Cancer energy. I do have the Ten of Swords, your energy. Let me go ahead and get one more card for Aquarius. That is gonna be the Four of Swords, Libra energy. The bottom of the deck, the overall energy I do have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, it is the Death card. This is Scorpio energy. So you could have a Scorpio in your chart, you could be dealing with one, of course, Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, but with the death card, this is change and transition. So something has to die. It does not have to be a literal death, but something has to end. Whether it's a philosophy, a lifestyle, and a, a, just staying, in a, staying around an environment, something has to end in order for something new to begin. And, you know, with the death card, you know, it's transition. So the, the death, it's, you know, you're going through, you're going through your spiritual awakening. And it, the, it reminds me, your spiritual awakening reminds me of middle school, junior high. You know, it's awkward, you know, there's, you know, your hormones, everything is going crazy. You're just trying to figure things out. You're forming your own opinions, having your own identity, you know. You just don't understand me, mom, right? Um, so that's what it reminds me of, Aquarius. So you're going through these transitions, but I do feel like you're, you're, you're bringing a new structure. You're, fi you're finding balance. Some of you are becoming more spiritual. I'm seeing some of you becoming more disciplined. Maybe you've uh, been following doctor's orders or going to a nutritionist, or seeing a, a physical, uh, you know, or seeing a, um, oh my God, I can't, a fitness trainer, sorry. <laughs> it took me a moment for me to uh, figure out what word I wanted to say. Uh, but it feels like you're, you may be speaking to a counselor or a therapist, but it feels like you're trying to get your shit together. So there are two tens, so this is gonna be about success, 
for some of you. So with the Nine of Swords Gemini energy, this is a lot of fear, stress, a lot of um, little to no sleep. There's a lot of things that's been plaguing your mind and you're expecting the worst. There's a lot of things that's been plaguing you, followed by the Five of Swords. And it feels like you're having to walk away too away from more than one person that does not align with you. And you may be obsessing over whether if they value our friendship or whether if these people actually care about me, whether if my partner uh, respect me. It feels like uh, you've been gaslit and you're just trying to find out the truth. And it feels like whether if it's like a philosophy or a mindset or actual people that you're having to deal with, you're realizing that you're having to face your fears. You're having to face your fears. And if it means that, that uh, you have to walk away from a job or a relationship, friendship, move out of you know, uh, you know, move out of your current living situation because it's things are becoming more to light and these people or the environment, it will never change. It will always be the same. So you're admitting, you're realizing that you can't save this and you're having to walk away from it. The good news is that you don't have to stress about this anymore. This will no longer plague your mind, wondering what if or what could have happened or whatnot. You're freak. You're worrying about if you could have ever changed the past. And all, and I'm gonna tell you, you could have not changed the past. All you would have done is that you would have just continued to enable the situation. They would have continued to dis disrespect you. The situation would always be the same. You would be Dante Hicks bitching about working at the convenience store when you had the day off, you know, and it's a shit or get off the pot mentality. So now you're moving on. You have your heart on your sleeve. Your ego, your ego may be a little bit bruised, but you know that you were able to overcome this. This has been very stressful and it's agonizing as well because it's more than one person that did you dirty, that did you wrong, Aquarius. But you have the strength to overcome this. You're able to overcome all obstacles that come your way. And any challenges that come up, you're able to... It, it's going to come to little to no effort. Because you're able to look fear in the eye. That's the reason. Because you're able to face your fears, that's why you're able to overcome it. And since you've overcome your fears, since you remove these obstacles out of your way, you're realizing you're happy as a motherfucker. And you are so excited that now you can, you have free time. Now you're no longer restricted. You're no longer uh, ostracized or or withheld from family or friends or loved ones. And now you're able to reconnect and live the life that you've always wanted. And this feels like a rebirth. This is a transformation. Some of you dodged a bullet. Some of you escaped death in some shape or form. And you feel closer to your family and friends. Now it feels like you can, you're ready to, I'm seeing like one Aquarius where you did not want to have a relationship or you did not want to have children and you have some sort of near death experience. And now you're like, all right, now I want to, I only have one life to live and now I want to, uh, I want to build a family. It's kind of the energy I'm getting. I'm also seeing some of you Aquarius says if you've been ostracized, you're going to uh, be reunited and your name is going to be cleared. The Ten of Swords. There's going to be relief that's coming your way. 
it's going to be painful. And it's just because it's because we have the Nine of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Because it's a painful transition that's happening here. But just know that this is a success and this is a completion. It's kind of like when you watch a television show and when you see a mini series or, you know, a television series and they'll, you know, they'll give a recap of the, you know, of previous episodes or the previous season before they show you the new season. It's just that it's going to, it's going to be the universe ripping off the bandaid and it's going to happen really quickly and it's going to, it's going to be painful, but they're ripping it off quickly instead of slowly. You want this to be a slow death. You don't want this to be dragging on and on. The Four Swords. This feels like you need to take some sort of break, Aquarius. Um, this could be that you need to take some sort of vacation. You may need to speak to a counselor or a therapist. It feels like some of you uh, just need to regroup. Uh, I'm sensing like... I'm sensing for one Aquarius, you saw something very traumatizing, like you witnessed somebody die or you witnessed a horrible accident or some sort of freak incident. Um, and you're having PTSD and, um, and uh, you're speaking and you need to speak to a counselor or a therapist so you can go ahead and get over it. I, I'm getting that for one Aquarius. Okay, so if that resonated with you, make sure that you comment down below. I enjoy hearing feedback. So we're gonna go ahead and use a second deck. So if, because of the first reading did not resonate with you, usually this one will. This is going to be the 90s tarot deck. So let's go ahead and get into this. This is going to be for Aquarius. Aquarius for sun, moon, rising. So I do have the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy here for you. Yeah, baby, yeah. And I do have the Star card, Aaliyah. I do have Judgment. I have Scorpio energy. That card again. I do have the Queen of Swords, Gemini Libra. And I do have the Five of Pentacles, Virgo. So I do have the Six of Cups, the overall energy, which is Pisces energy. So some of you are gonna be feeling nostalgic as fuck. Uh, you are going to be reconnecting with a family friend. This could be an old lover. This could be a family member, a family friend, uh, but it's somebody that you love and you care for. Uh, some of you are going to be uh, going to start developing feels. Um, I am also seeing somebody meeting somebody brand new, and they really want to put a ring and wipe this bitch. They feel like this person is this person slays. This person is like uh, Princess Leia. And they're not only they're uh, not only a princess, but they're a complete badass, and they're mouthy. <laughs> <laughs> and it feels like you and it, it feels like there's some sort of spark between that okay so the knight of wands this is going to be you moving into a positive direction you're going to be moving very quickly very forward i'm also seeing some of you becoming very frisky uh becoming more sexual i'm also uh, seeing someone having a friends with benefits situation that is going to be for a small select aquarius says um and it feels like it's going to be somebody from your past somebody for a, like a, a friends with benefits situation from somebody that you've known for a very long time okay uh so i'm seeing somebody just moving positive they're becoming more creative i'm seeing somebody uh developing a new project and they're trying to launch it all right like coming up with like a television pilot or something. Uh, now the star card, this is your energy here. This is you manifesting, getting your wish come true because you've actually taken the time to work on yourself. Uh, you realize that there's certain things that you don't like about yourself and you're always doing an ego check and you had to reevaluate and remove things, philosophies, people that no longer serve you. 
So some of you have been manifesting a relationship or things to progress further into a situation that is happening for you. Now, the judgment card here, I'm seeing somebody reuniting with the long lost lover, uh, their ex, uh, a friend, like somebody has been like, a, who's been friend zoned or pining for this person for a long time, you're gonna have a chance to date them. You're gonna have a chance to uh, sweep them off their feet. Uh, I am seeing you just completely doing an overhaul on your life for a positive. Um, it feels like for some of you Aquariuses, you are reconnecting with family and friends uh, because you feel like you may have, um, <coughs> excuse me, not done your part um, with, with texting or communicating or phone calls let's be honest like when they communicate with you you'll read the text but you tell yourself that you'll respond to them later and then like weeks later you realize that you've done goof right that you've ghosted them and it's never intentional but i do feel like there is some sort of redemption i do feel like you're going to get your name cleared have a second chance at life the Queen of Swords, I do feel like for some of you, if there's some sort of criminal record or some sort of court case or custody battle, your name is going to be cleared. You'll get custody. Uh, I am seeing somebody being read to filth, somebody being dragged. I'm seeing somebody uh, pulling out receipts, somebody getting restraining order, maybe uh, filing a police report. I'm also seeing somebody being served. Uh, somebody getting paid, like back paid child support as well. I am seeing somebody setting boundaries. So I am seeing you Aquarius just learning to speak up for yourself more, learning to say no. And the five of pentacles, this is somebody, uh, it feels like there's some sort of judgment. Okay. It feels like somebody has got a lean or some sort of judgment. Um, There's some sort of back owed debt that's paid, like child support or something, um, or some sort of court case, or or some sort of court hearing or something, and now the price is being paid. Uh, I'm seeing somebody being broke as fuck. Uh, I am seeing, yeah, I'm seeing somebody having to owe money. I am also seeing somebody just being petty and just dating somebody to spite somebody, like to get back at their ex. Okay. Alrighty then. So if that resonated, make sure you comment down below. I'm going to be using two Oracle decks. I'm going to be using the 90s Oracle deck, followed by the Daria oracle deck so let's go ahead i'm going to go ahead and throw down three cards each tell you your messages then we're going to go ahead and go about our day yeah, of course that would happen okay Okay, that's very, this reading is very fitting for you, okay? Okay, Aquarius, alrighty then. So first, let's go ahead and get into the 90s Oracle. So I've got salty as fuck with spam. Accept the truth no matter how bitter with that pink medicine. I always like that pink medicine that tastes like bubblegum. And be extra mindful of your words, yak back. Okay, so Aquarius, you're going to be salty as fuck, clearly. And you know it's the truth, all right? You may not like the truth, but you're going to accept it. Because here's a good philosophy. Uh, something. Uh, do you want to be happy or do you want to be right? <laughs> and I think that's the key here. Um, if you're asking for advice and somebody is providing you with 
you know, uh, constructive criticism. Um, you can't be butt hurt because they're giving you feedback that you asked. You know what I mean? Um, and you know, like, the situation is leaving you salty and bitter. But don't, um, just be extra mindful of your words. I know you have a retort for everything. Don't be that person, okay? Don't be a negative Nancy, right? Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get into your Daria reading. So we've got, is life always tawdry, stupid, and humiliating, or is it just a phase? Unfortunately, it's not, Daria. Did we do it? Are we zen now? You know, nobody said the message had to be positive. All right, then. So those were your messages, Aquarius, for April 2021. If it resonated, make sure you comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching, Aquarius. Be safe. Wash your damn hands. Nanu nanu.